Hey everyone, welcome back to another Magic Minute. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a student room in Magic School. You might be wondering, what is a student room? Basically a student room is a safe space for students to interact with AI tools that a teacher assigns to them. As students interact with the tools, the teacher can moderate the entire conversation and gain powerful insights into what their students understand based on those conversations. Let's dive in and set up a student room together. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna to go to the left side of my screen and I'm gonna click on Magic Student. From this page, teachers can explore all the different tools that could be available to students. Then as a teacher, you will choose which tools you want your students to have access to at any given point. When you go to the left and click on Rooms, this is where you'll see all the previous rooms that you've created. You can always revisit those rooms. You can relaunch those rooms to your students. You can also go up to the top right corner and click create room if you want to start creating a room from there. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create a student room from the student tools dashboard. So once you pick a tool, it's going to open up this window that allows you to fill out the tools, details and instructions. So on the left is where you'll actually fill out all the fields for your customization. And on the right is the preview of the tool. Now, one thing I wanna point out before you customize this tool for your students is you can preview with an exemplar. So basically what that will do is pre-fill the fields with prompts. So it gives you a great example of what types of prompts you could use with this tool. And it also gives you an example of what types of outputs the students would see. All right, let's get back to building the student room. So to save time, I'm gonna actually go down to the bottom and click on use template, which is a really handy tool to know. So let's say you build this really awesome tool and you wanna save it, you can always click save template and use it again later. A little extra tip. So I'm gonna click use template and I'm gonna pull up the persuasive essay template that I've already built before. Here you can see I have, this is my rough draft writing feedback tool for students to get feedback on their rough draft. I left it as ninth grade. I have my description. I also have the rubric that I want the AI to score with. And for this, you would just click the add file dropdown and then you can upload any type of rubric that you would like the AI to reference. At the bottom, you also have these additional fields. Here, you can let the AI know a little bit more about what the learning objective or the goal of this chat is going to be. You can also give additional instructions. Maybe you want the AI to only allow the students to submit their work one time rather than multiple times. You can put that in the additional instructions. You also have the super handy button here called the prompt assistant, where if you want the AI to help you write the prompt, it will do that to make it a little more clear for the AI to follow. Before you launch any tool to a student, you wanna try it out first. So I'm gonna try the preview. So here I've uploaded an example student essay and let's see what kind of feedback we get. Okay, so let's say you've tried this tool several times and you like the way it works. You can then simply share that tool to your students by clicking save to room. But before I do that, maybe I wanna add one more tool to this room for my students to use. So I'm gonna to go to add tool and I'm gonna add in the research assistant. Now you can see I have two tools in this room and I can always toggle back and forth between the two. And if I'm happy with these tools and I feel like they're ready for students to use, I would click save to room. Here I can name a new room or I could even add these tools to an existing room that I've already used in the past. But for this video, I'm gonna just make a new room. Now from here, I can share the link to this room, put it in Google Classroom or give my students a QR code to access it. And that's all it takes to set up a student room for your students. If you still have questions about how to use Magic Student with your classroom, feel free to ask us in the comments below. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.